Well, more drama took place on the track at the Paris Olympics. ABC's Ines de la Coutera has more from Paris on today's results. An upset on the track in the men's 200 meters. Noah Lyles, who won gold in the men's 100 meters, stunned by Botswana's Litzil Tobago. American Kenny Badarek won silver. Lyles took bronze. Noah seen struggling on the track after the race, his rep confirming to ABC News that he has COVID. He tested positive on Tuesday morning. The U.S. men's basketball team taking on Nikola Jokic and Serbia. The winner takes on France for the gold medal Saturday. In the men's speed climb, American Sam Watson winning bronze and setting a new world record with time of 4.74 seconds after failing to make the gold medal race. In women's volleyball, Team USA on to the gold medal match with a win against Brazil. The final set for Sunday. The U.S. women's water polo team failing to reach the gold medal game with a loss against Australia. They'll play the Netherlands Saturday for bronze. And finally, the U.S. women's soccer team getting ready for their gold medal match against Marta and powerhouse Brazil on Saturday. Earlier, they reflected on what it took to reach the final and their hopes going into the game. It will take everything. It will take every last bit of energy, legs, brain cells that we have to win this game. Uh, Brazil is such a great uh, team and they're going to be a challenging opponent. So it's going to take everything, but we're definitely ready for it. The last time the Americans won gold was in 2012 in London. So Mercady Ledecky and rower Nick Mead will serve as flag bearers at the closing ceremony for Team USA. The two were chosen by their fellow athletes in a vote. They're the first duo to earn the honor. And as Dolly Quatera, ABC News, Paris.